I fell for a job scam. Hey guys, so we are starting off the video a little differently today because this is literally just going to be a chit chat get ready with me where I talk to you guys about how I fell for a job scam. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead and start off my eyes. I am using the brand new Resurgence palette. This is the collaboration with Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics, which is live right now if you guys wanna go pick it up. I'm so happy to support my beautiful friend. I'm gonna be going with like these light little colors today. I just wanna do like a very easy, pretty eye look because I just want to tell you guys about what is going on. So as you guys know, I have been very vocal about trying to find a job since January and oh my gosh, is the job market rough. And I originally started applying for like a social media, like, you know, coordinator, social media manager, just anything social media, because obviously I do social media. So I thought that I could be beneficial. I started applying and got nothing, no bites, no nothing. So I didn't let that deter me. I kept going and you know, times have been getting tough. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but views on YouTube have been down and that may not seem like a lot to you guys, but someone like me who relies on views as my income, it's detrimental. Like I'm going to be very, Ooh, very open and honest. I get paid once a month. And in the month of April, I only made $900. Imagine all your bills. Okay. All your bills you have one payment of $900, make that work for rent, groceries, electric, car insurance, phone bill, you name it. It's extremely hard. I'm gonna be very open and honest in this video and be very vulnerable. So if I'm negative or ranting or anything like that, I don't care. I'm just, I'm trying to be realistic with you guys. So it has been very hard here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know, but like doing this job is a very expensive job. Not only am I not making as much as I used to, I'm also trying to pay for all this makeup to keep up with all the trends to stay afloat. And it's extremely difficult. And I absolutely hate relying on anybody. I hate it. And my husband has been absolutely amazing, but I just can't take it. I, I, I can't take it. I need to be able to provide for myself and for us and not have it just be solely him. So I have been actively looking for a job like crazy, especially because we just got our letter last week about our rent. Our rent is going up close to $700. That's insane. That is insane. We were lucky enough to snag this apartment during COVID, so rent was very cheap, but now they're raising it by close to $700 to meet the market demand in this area. And it's staggering and it's made me very upset. I was very emotional because I'm like, well, what are we gonna do? Like, what are we gonna do? Um, so we are looking for other options. I did ask if they could lower the rent and they got back to us yesterday saying, nope, sorry, this is what the market demands and this is what we're gonna charge you. So. We don't know what we're gonna do because one, the rent is outrageous for what we're getting. And then two, then to qualify for another place to move into, Corey can qualify. I don't think, I, I know I would not qualify in the slightest, plus our dogs. And it's very stressful. I've had a lot of emotional breakdowns about this and it's just have been incredibly stressful. So I have been very, very, very hard on, I've been very adamant about looking for jobs. I have been applying to minimum five jobs every single day. I even went to my old job yesterday. I went to my old job. I talked to my management and they said they would bring me back. But as of right now, they have no room for servers whatsoever because they just hired three servers like two or three weeks ago. So they have absolutely no space, space for me. But they said that as soon as the spot opens up, they'll let me know. I even told them I'll be a host again. I'll be a food runner. I'll be on call. I'll even work out in retail. I don't care. I just need something. And so they know, but like I, I'm, I'm desperate. I am. I'm, I'm flat out. I'm desperate. So I have been trying nonstop. Well, who this is, this is kind of a, I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed by this story and I'm, it's really embarrassing. And I know that it's not my fault, but like it is my fault, but I've been actively, like I said, applying for jobs every single day. Well, on Friday, last Friday, I finally had something hit because all the jobs I've applied to, I've either gotten ignored or if they have gotten back to me, it's just a flat out no. I have not heard one yes and I haven't even been able to get an interview. So I was, I have been very down about it and very in my feels. Um, I'm just gonna go in this palette. I'm not gonna really kind of show all the looks I'm doing just cause I just wanna talk to you guys. So. I've been very down about it, needless to say. And um, I got a, 
a, a message from this company on Friday. Now this company, I'm going to flat out say the name because I just don't care. It's called DRI Bioscientist. And they reached out to me about a data entry position. And I went on my Discord and I asked my Patreon members if they thought that I was smart enough to be a data, a data entry person because I've never done it before. And I don't really know what it entails other than just putting data into the system, which is they pretty much said that's literally what you do. Like it's you're smart enough to do it. So I started talking to this person named Kristen Robinson, and I was so excited. The pay was going to be $27 an hour, which should have been my first red flag, but I was so desperate and so excited that I didn't really think this is kind of a lot for data entry when I've been seeing so many other data entries on LinkedIn for like $15 an hour, $17 an hour, nothing $27, but I was so excited. I even like was on the phone with Teresa. I had Teresa looking at the website. She was like, this is, this looks amazing. We're looking at all the benefits where it'd be like medical, dental, um, 401k plans, disability, like disability plan, like disability insurance, uh, paid time off, uh, overtime, like all these cool benefits, right? That I was like, this, it looks like it's too good to be true. And sometimes if it is too good to be true, you should really take another look at it. So I messaged back to Kristen Robinson said I was absolutely really interested in this position because they had texted me and I don't know if that's a red flag. I really don't know, but they texted me. So we set up an assessment and we set up, um, this, web assessment where I have to go in and I'd have to take like this practice test to like prove that I can like handle being a data analysis or data entry person. So I took that test and then they had me fill out an employment verification form. They had me fill out an employment form where I would have to just kind of put like my, my information for like admin stuff where like my name, um, my address, my preferred banking, my phone number, my email. So I filled all that out thinking, okay, this is, this is it. We're going to see what happens. I took the assessment. Everything was great. And I went about my day, not really thinking too much of it. Not really thinking it's kind of weird. They kind of ask these questions. Maybe I did go to the assessment. I don't know. Cause it was like written questions of like, why do you want to work here? What would you do if you know, what do you want to do with your life in five years? Answer these questions about pharmaceutical stuff. So I was like, okay, this is like legit. So on this, so this past weekend, we started to go look around houses. We were driving all over like Claremont and Orlando and trying to see what we could find in terms of renting a place that's going to be affordable within our budget. So on Monday, I was, you know, getting really excited. And this is also why I did not post a video on Monday because I was just dumbfounded. But on Monday, um, yeah, I want something just very easy like this. Just very pretty, very easy. I don't know how well this shimmer shade is blending on top of this matte because this matte is a little bit uh, on the cool tone, but we're just going to make it work. So then on Monday, I got an email from Kristen Robinson and I just, I have to read it because this should have been, oh my God, a red flag, but I, again, I didn't see it. So the email said, good morning, Allie, a decision about your employment was made sooner than expected as you need to fill this position as soon as possible. Please find the attachment with the terms and conditions of your employment. Should you accept this offer, kindly sign or return the signed copy via email. We look forward to having you on board and excited to have you join the team. So I'm thinking, holy shit, I got this job. So I would have the option of working full-time or part-time. Full-time would be 35 hours, part-time would be 20. The pay will be 27 each, but then I'd be bringing home about $3,780 a month or 2,100 depending on how many hours I decide to work. And I was thrilled. I was thrilled and I was so excited. I couldn't believe that I got this job. And it's kind of weird because I look Corey and I were like, it's kind of weird that I didn't really get an interview. Maybe they really just need somebody. Maybe my assessment, like the web assessment that I did was my, my interview. So I got really excited and for the first time ever, like I allowed myself to like have hope. And I was talking to Corey about places that we could possibly now afford to live, you know, even if it's just staying here, if we had to working on our credit to go buy a house, we were so excited. I reached out to all my friends. I told them about this. I reached out to my parents. They were so happy and excited for me because for once I'd have health insurance because I don't have health insurance because it's just way too freaking expensive. And the, and the Corey's job, the one that they offer is a, a joke. Like you're spending a thousand dollars a month just on me and him to have insurance. It's, it's a joke. So I was really, really excited. And oh, it's going to make me cry talking about it because oh, it's like I had a hope that like things were going to turn around. And I dreamed, I, I allowed myself to dream 
for just a moment like what would it be like to bring in all that extra income and then I was like then YouTube could be a, still a passion and like a dream of mine and I could still do it I was coming up with what schedule I would do I was coming up with everything you guys could possibly imagine and then like you know Corey took me to Target and he bought me something to be like congratulations I'm so proud of you um that day I was you know kind of figuring out what to do they sent me over this information and I had to sign this form um, to say yes I agree to work as of May 31st I gave them again my full name for admin purposes my address my phone number I gave them my business email luckily but they didn't ask about any more like payment information right and they said that like that I would have to that they were gonna provide me with office equipment now well, I should have caught, but again, I'm so naive to this because I, I don't know. You don't think that there's going to be scammers on freaking LinkedIn. Now, they said that they would provide me with office equipment, but then they said because everybody works from home, it's really difficult to coordinate where to, it's really difficult for all of them to coordinate how to send me office equipment. So instead, they would write me a check where then I would then take that check and have to use it at their website that they send me over to buy this equipment. I didn't think anything of it. Like, I didn't think anything of it. You know, me and Corey were like, oh, okay, well, maybe we could just take the check and then I buy what I can. I don't need to buy anything at all and just, like, send them back a check. Like, we were trying to figure out, like, where we, like, what to do and, like, what we are going to need and stuff like that. I was like, what am I going to need for data entry? Like, what am I going to need? Again, not seeing the red flags because I never thought I would come across this. Well, as I'm um, talking about this with Corey, you know, and I'm, I'm planning, like, what we're going to do and how I'm going to, like, you know, pay off some debt that I have. That way we can go and talk to the bank so you can figure out what our next move is to possibly end up buying a home next year. Like we were coming up with all these options and we were like really thinking about everything and Corey was getting really excited because he was like, you know, he pays for school out of pocket. He, like, he Luckily he's got loans last semester, but more normally he pays for everything out of pocket. And because he's going into his bachelor program, he's supposed to take two recs, two prereqs before his bachelor program. So financial aid and scholarships won't cover that. He still has to pay for that out of pocket. So he's thinking, oh my gosh, like I can go to school. I can, I don't have to worry about anything. And we were getting really excited about this opportunity for me. So excited. And he's like, you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe there's a reason why you haven't gotten called anywhere. It's because you're supposed to do this, right? Living just in the dream. So I was, we were at Publix and we we're going a little bit of grocery shopping and I was like, oh, I got it. I'm going to pay for it because I, you know, just got this job. Let me cover it for us. And as we get into the parking lot, we park, Corey's talking. And for some reason, something told me to like check LinkedIn to see like what Kristen Robinson like looks like and to see like what the reviews are of this company, right? I wanted to see like who else is working this company because you could pretty much find that information on there. So I wanted to see who else worked for this company. And when I logged on and like typed in, um, DRI Bioscience, the only thing that popped up, their company didn't even pop up on LinkedIn, was this, this chat that said, has anyone gotten hired um, from this place called DRI Bioscience, scientists from a person named Kristen Robinson? I think this is a scam. And immediately my stomach dropped and I was like, scam, what do you mean? So I started looking at the comments and there's a few comment section people going, yeah, I can't find them anywhere on LinkedIn. And I just feel like it's a little weird that like you can't find any information about them, but they're pushing so hard to like hire people and like to like send you a check and whatnot. They think this is a little bit of a scam because you can't find any information about them. So I was like, what do I do like that? okay I looked them up and I couldn't find them on LinkedIn either so my stomach dropped and I immediately was like oh my god is this not real so we went grocery shopping I got dead quiet I stopped talking I didn't say anything to Corey because I just didn't know what to say I want to go home and I want to go to Peter and I want to look this up myself so I typed into the Better Bureau business and I typed in DRI bioscience and they didn't pull up at all and I was like that's odd. So I went to Glassdoor to see like maybe I could find like potential reviews about this company. They didn't pop up. But when you go to DRIBiosciences.com, you can clearly see that this website it exists. It's a legitimate website. And then you can see that back in like 2016 or like 2017, they were granted a couple million of dollars to do this research on like autism. But now they have no money and they stopped doing research because I don't think anything came from it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And like, when you see everything right there and you go on the website, it says that they only had three employees. And I was like, 
what if this isn't real? So I went on Reddit. I tried to find something on Reddit. I couldn't find anything, but just that one little post on LinkedIn. So I typed in DRI biosciences scam and an article popped up from the FBI warning that these scammers are going onto LinkedIn and using the easy apply in to find easy targets where they're hiring these people to work at, to work at home and they will either send you equipment or send you a check to go buy their stuff. And it's a legitimate check. It's a legitimate check. And then it bounces and then you're the one that you're essentially paying them with and you're, it bounces and you're paying them or like you have to go buy their stuff and they'll reimburse you the check and it's a legitimate, legitimate, check, legitimate check, but then it bounces and then you're just screwed out of the thousands of dollars that you spent. And then a girl, an article brought me to this girl on TikTok who said that she encountered something very similar and she actually gave like all her personal information. She gave like her routing number, her account number. Um, she gave everything for this company that she thought was legitimate to send her direct deposits and come to find out it was a scam the whole time and how well they did it was so professional that it was very scary. Now, I, other people in the comment section on LinkedIn said they physically had a phone interview and a webcam interview with someone named Kristen Robinson and she sat on camera, she talked about the business, what it's like, everything, and I would, it, what it's like, everything, and then they said, you know, that, that there was no reason to think that this was a scam job until this one particular post on LinkedIn. So come to find out uh, on LinkedIn after this person's like, oh, I had like a legitimate real conversation with them. So come to find out, um, I started to freak out going, oh my gosh, I, I think this is a scam. And I went to Corey and I immediately broke down and I immediately broke down and I started crying because I, I just feel like such a disappointment. And I know that like, you guys are saying, no, you're not this and that. I, I, I do. I feel like I'm such a disappointment and I'm such a failure because here I am relying on my husband to help us out and I am struggling. I mean, I'm literally applying to five jobs every day minimum to try to do something to get a job to help make ends meet because YouTube just isn't doing it for me anymore. I'm trying. I'll take whatever. Like, I don't care. I even applied for a custodial position at Disney. Like, I don't care. I need something. So, um... I told Corey what happened and I broke down crying because I was just like, I can't believe I fell for a scam and not to mention did I fall for it, but I legit gave them my full address, my full name, my date of birth, um, my phone number, my email address. Thank God my email address has no association with my bank whatsoever, like in the slightest, has no association. And that's so they knew what banking I had. They don't know my account number. I never gave them that. But I was like, I can't believe this happened. And Corey's like, no way. Like, that's no way. Is that really a thing? And I said, yeah, apparently it is. I showed him the FBI article. I showed him the TikTok that I found with that girl happening to him. I showed him um, the, the, the comment section on LinkedIn of people making posts about it. And then he started doing his own research. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you really can't find them anywhere. So the person who sent me the email had attached the CEO's company signature so the CEO's information, like his full name, is available on his website because he really is the CEO of this company. So Corey and I were like, okay, what do we do? Well, Corey, being the tech genius that he is, he found this guy's personal cell phone number. Don't ask how. He found this guy's personal cell phone number. Now, I'm not going to say his name because he's a real person. But Corey called him several times since man did not answer the phone. But I think it's like on the fourth or fifth time calling him, Corey, and the guy answered the phone. And he's like, hey, I are you this person that runs this company? And he said, yes, I am. Why? Who's asking? I goes, I just want to ask you, are you guys hiring anybody? And the guy immediately was like, no, we're not hiring anybody at all. And he goes, cool. Well, there's a person named Kristen Robinson on LinkedIn impersonating your company, hiring all these people, I think, trying to scam. And the guy is like, oh my gosh, like, I can't wait. this is happening. I'm so sorry. I did not know. Thank you so much for informing me and according to the phone call. So that's when I knew that this was 100% a scam. And all I could do was cry because I was just embarrassed. And I know like Teresa and all of them, so there's no reason to be embarrassed. Like, you didn't know, but... I, 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 I do feel like it's my fault. It's a hundred, it's not LinkedIn's fault. LinkedIn has no idea that this is happening, by the way. They don't know that these com these people are coming in her impersonating real companies, by the way, because they're linking everything to the real legitimate companies. So why would you think that it's a scam? Why would you think that it's a scam? Because they're, they're linking the legitimate company. You do research on it and you find it. But 
they don't know. So it's 100% my fault for not doing my due diligence of kind of like back checking like this this company, checking like, you know, Glassdoor, the reviews, like what people are saying about working here, kind of not questioning why a data entry job entry level is paying you $27 an hour. It's my fault for not doing my due diligence, right? I'm very fortunate that I did not give any more personal information. And later on that day, I did get another email from Kristen Robinson saying that they set me up an account and with that bioscientist, and this time instead of saying .com, it says .org, I never bothered responding to that email whatsoever. And I immediately knew at that point on, and according to like the FBI article and that one girl that I saw on TikTok says that to no longer do easy apply in with LinkedIn because it's so easy for these scam artists to forge companies and make them look exactly the same as same same with thing like with these people that are calling you from your bank they duplicate the fucking number because they copy it and they call you saying there's fraud and people you know give away their account information because they generally believe it's their bank so the fbi is warning people against this a so warning kind of doing you know immediate easy applying because it's so easy just like yep easy apply and people are saying, don't do that. That's how these scammers are getting you. And unfortunately, I was one of the people that fell for it. Now, I will say I'm very grateful that my gut was like, why don't you just kind of look into this? And I was able to stop anything more from happening. But I was still unbelievably embarrassed because I sat there and I told everybody. I was so excited. I planned my future, guys. I planned what I would do and how how this would benefit my YouTube and my career and my dream. And I was just so beyond excited. And I was just so beyond excited for once to not feel like a failure and to feel like I can help out my husband and support him just as much as he support me. And I just broke down. It was very upsetting to me. And I had to, you know, text my parents and text my friends and say, ah, joke's on me, guys. It was a scam. And I was just really utterly embarrassed by the whole situation. So the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I've seen so many of you guys in my comment section saying that you guys are trying to find jobs or like your loved ones have gotten laid off. Be very aware about LinkedIn and indeed to any of these places that are hiring online, be very wary. If you see anything online that looks suspicious, trust your gut. Don't do, don't do easy applying through LinkedIn. I literally, that same day after I cried, I let myself have a little pity party for about five minutes. I dusted myself off. I got up and I said, I am not gonna let this stop me. And I went and applied to five more jobs that day. But now what I'm doing is that every single day that I'm applying for jobs, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm finding a job and then I'm going to that physical company's website and I look at their careers, their jobs. And if I see that they're hiring for that exact position, I apply through the company. I will no longer apply through LinkedIn because I am so scared of this happening to me again because it's a shitty situation to have it's a shitty feeling to have thinking that you got something and then not to come true and I just don't want any of you guys to fall for it there's so many scammers out there they're trying to just steal your money and I don't want that to happen to you like I just don't want that to happen to you guys at all so I um, did contact my bank I let them know like what happened but since I didn't really reveal any personal information they weren't really too concerned about it but there is like you know a fraud alert watch on my account just to make sure not like they can really take much anyway. I don't have like anything in there, but I just wanted to tell you guys because I just wanted you guys to know and to be aware of like kind of like what's happening because I never would have known if my gut didn't tell me, look, if I didn't do my research, I would 100% have gone through with this. I would have 100% given my information, would have filled out whatever their W-2 situation is, would have given over like my bank account number to have direct deposit or to accept a check. I would have fell for it. 100% would have fell for it because you just don't think that that's something that's happening on LinkedIn and sadly it is. So that's my situation, but I will say I am absolutely not letting it get me down in the slightest. I am very positive that the right job is going to come along and I'm going to make, I'm going to be able to make ends meet, but I did need to have a moment to like kind of self wallow and self pity just because I don't like relying on anybody. And I feel like it's just so, it's been so hard and I've been trying so hard to smile every day on camera for you guys, but there, man, there are some days that I just don't want to smile. And there's some days I just don't want to film, but I do because I know that if I don't film, I'm not going to have a paycheck. So I push through and I, and I'm, and I'm here and I love this job more than anything. This has been the best job I've had in my entire world, but for some reason, it's just not working out for me at this time. And I'm not saying I'm gonna quit YouTube and never you know, do it again. No, I just wanna find something that can allow me to do both, where I can be okay financially, but then also still follow my dreams and follow my passions. It's all I want. 
that's kind of my story. That's kind of like where I'm at right now. I don't really know what my future is going to hold. I don't really know like what am I going to what am I going to do about a living situation because going up to close to seven hundred dollars is so steep. I don't know if my husband and I can truly afford it. If we can, it's going to be very 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 tight for us. So I'm going to keep looking for jobs. I'm going to treat. I'm going to keep trying to do the best that I can. I'm going to keep putting out as much videos as I can. But I just wanted to like tell you guys my story because I just I really don't want this to happen to anybody else because I would have never have known that there is literally a LinkedIn scan going around. People are, in, are impersonating these companies and pretending to hire you just so they could steal your money. And it's just so sad. Like for me, it's so sad because everybody out on LinkedIn is trying to find a job. And then to have these scam artists come in and steal what little money you might possibly have is just really, really, really sad. And it makes you just freaking hate the people. I swear, I swear. But that's my story. I wanted to tell you guys not to like be depressing, but to just, I don't know, tell my friends because it's, I was embarrassed. I was straight up, I was embarrassed and I was very upset and I was like, how could I be so stupid and naive to fall for something like this? But then I had to keep reminding myself that like, well, who would have thought that this would have happened? Like who would have thought that there would be like a freaking job scam on LinkedIn. I didn't know I wasn't aware of it. So, but I did need to have just a moment the other day because I genuinely was really upset. But I just wanted to tell you guys because it's just a really shitty feeling to have that hope that, you know, things are finally going to turn around for you. You're going to finally be able to make some, you know, bring in some income. So you're not relying solely on your husband who has been the most sweetest man during the whole thing and so understanding and so positive and so encouraging. You know, it's just... It was humiliating. So that's my story. That is the whole point of this video to tell you guys that I fell for a job scan on LinkedIn. And just to kind of tell you guys, be vigilant, be careful because they are out here trying their damn hardest to steal your money. And it's just really scary. I, kind of, I just realized I just kind of rambled on. I don't even know how the story went. I had it like all planned out in my head how it's going to tell you guys. But then the second I turned the camera on, I just started just spewing information and just saying everything that came to mind. Um, but I just want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. Um, I just feel like as of lately, the beauty community on YouTube has just been so, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't want to say it's dying, but it generally feels like it's dying. If you guys look at all the beauty creators, their views are completely down, mine included. And I think a big part of it has to do with the fact that yes, there is TikTok, but I also feel like there's just too many makeup releases happening right now. It's too oversaturated. And with everybody like, not making the money that we once were like it's it's hard times for a lot of people right now it's very very hard times and I just feel like the not the I don't say the beauty community but just the makeup community as a whole all these brands are coming out with so much stuff and nothing's getting cheaper if you guys notice makeup has gotten more expensive and I've been seeing you so many of you guys in the comment section saying that you guys have to pick and choose what launch you guys want to get and I just want to say don't like don't get any like if you if you really can't don't do don't do it don't get any it's seriously not worth it and yeah you may have a little bit of FOMO for missing out but I guarantee you a lot of these colors you'll find in so many other palettes you may have and I just find myself buying less and less makeup because I just realized that like I don't need it and it, you know I just watched a video on YouTube the other day from Audra at home if you guys have not seen this video I highly suggest you guys do I'll link it down below it's a very well thought out video it's very well said and Audra said exactly some of the things I wanted to say but doing beauty on YouTube is extremely expensive I mean they're like the one percent you know what it's fantastic for them they get all this PR they get tons of money and ad revenue and stuff like that but like if you're not making you're not getting a certain amount of views on YouTube, you're not making a lot of money and you're probably spending more money on makeup than you are physically getting it back in return. So for me, if you guys notice, I'm buying less and less because I'm not seeing a return investment and I'm not saying that's what it's all about, but like this is my job and I, if I buy a $50 palette and I make $25 only on that video, then I'm negative. I'm negative. You know, I'm, it's, 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 it's hard. It's really, really hard. So I'm going to be doing, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm trying to use as much drugstore as possible, I'm trying to like reuse my old makeup. So I'm not really spending much on makeup. And I'm also trying to do stuff differently. Like tomorrow night, I'm going live on YouTube where I have you guys pick my makeup again for the month of June. Because I literally had so much fun just hanging out with you guys, just shooting the shit, picking makeup and just hanging out with you guys. That was so much fun. And it didn't require a lot of work on my end to like edit and do thumbnails. Like sometimes it could take me like six to eight hours to do one video and you spend all that time and you can only get like 
$25 on it. It's, it's depressing. I'm like, damn, like I spent a lot of time, you know, it's, I don't think people, I don't think people realize like how much really goes into it sometimes. And it's a struggle, but I love doing it. So it's why I want to, I want to, I don't want to give up. I want to keep doing it, but I definitely need to find something in the meantime, because this is a hundred percent just not sustainable for me anymore. And trust me, I am looking, I have some of my amazing friends over on like Patreon trying to find me jobs as well. Like I'm applying to like everything from like data entry to virtual assistant to, um, makeup companies, book companies, Disney. I mean, come on, I even applied for Disney custodian. Cause I was like, I'll take anything at this point. Like just somebody give me a job, man. I'm tired of struggling. <laughs> I am. And I'm trying my damn best to make sure that I don't, I want to provide a future for me and my family. And whew, it is hard. It's hard right now. And I'm, I'm sure some of you guys could like understand too. And you guys have just been incredible through this whole process. And I just want to thank you guys for always being so patient with me and always so kind and so understanding and like letting me like vent to you guys about why. Because I think people think that people on the internet, I'm going to go with Lunar Beauty Milk Tea, which by the way, I just did a full review on this. If you guys want to check it out, link down below. But I think people on the internet always try to be so perfect and I am far from perfect. I'd rather show you guys the struggle in real life because, well, shit, it's true. And there's people that I follow like on TikTok and stuff that are just living the dream. And I'm just like, you know what? Good for you. Like good for you for living the dream. But I've definitely had to mute some of those people, not because I don't love them, but because I'm like not in the right headspace mentally. And so like seeing these people like just having their life handed to them on a platter just makes me like, okay, I am struggling over here mentally financially everything and I just it's it's a struggle for me to watch them be just have everything handed to them so there's definitely some people that I'm muted and if you ever feel the need to do that too please do mute whoever is just not bringing you joy at that moment it doesn't mean you don't love the person it just means that you're putting yourself and your mental health first which I really need to do more often because I really don't put my mental health first at all this beautiful gloss from Heather Austin's a really beautiful gloss but yeah, I just been meeting people that just haven't been beneficial to mental health because I keep forgetting that my mental health matters too. So this is kind of where we are makeup wise. Um, nothing too special, but I think this eye look is actually really pretty. I really do enjoy this palette. I'll make sure I link everything that I'm wearing my face down below for you guys. But let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and then we're going to wrap up this video. So yeah, guys, that's my story. That is how I literally fell for a job scam. They got me good. Not going to lie. I'm glad I was able to stop anything from happening that was going to be too serious and too detrimental for me but just stay vigilant if you guys are applying to anything on linkedin indeed anywhere you guys see online find the jobs on there but go to the actual company's website do just a little bit more research than i did i did not do enough research and i literally could have made the situation a lot worse if i just didn't trust my gut and kind of look stuff up more but it's just really sad that this is happening and i definitely will keep you guys posted um I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up at all. I still, you know, I believe that everything happens for a reason. And I think that the right job is going to come along. And even if this is the right job, I, it's some, whatever it is meant to be is going to be. And I just, I just want to thank you guys for always being so supportive and being here. I don't think you guys realize it enough. And just letting me vent that out to you. I can't tell you how much weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Just been kind of telling you guys like what happened. Like most people wouldn't share that stuff because it, it's, it's embarrassing. Like it's embarrassing to fall for something like that. But I'm telling you guys too, because I also don't want that to happen to any of you guys at all. Like, I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did and almost had your information stolen for a fake job. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's my story. <laughs> I'm just glad we caught in time and I'll be okay. I'll be okay. It all will work out in the end. So yeah, guys, I'll make sure I link everything that I wear on my face down below. I do have a new makeup release video coming out tomorrow along with me going live on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'm challenging you guys to pick my makeup. So please be there. It's going to be so much fun and I love you guys. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.